viewers my name is mohammad farooq today in our series of book summaries i would like to share summary of built to last by jim collins this is the second book of jim collins we are sharing on our youtube channel this book is about the companies that are built to last for centuries for example the amazon the disney world the apple the the bill gates foundation microsoft there are companies which are there built for centuries and the author talks about how these companies are built the concept of the author is that that there are two main concepts which every organization should take care of to remain to keep their operations for centuries the first thing is that their core core means their main thing and the other part is the progress core mean those things for which they have to all the time uh, care they have to all the time keep those things consistent the first thing in the core is the values values mean who they are i mean a friendly company an open minded company this the, the values just like a human values like respecting our customers or respecting our employees the second thing which in which is in the core is the purpose what is the purpose for example the purpose of apple is to make the things easy to create a difference in the tech world the purpose of amazon may be making the buying and selling easy the purpose of alibaba is serving the small businesses this is the purpose and the third thing in the core is called culture culture mean that what kind of environment you are going to have is it a centralized environment is it a decentralized environment so how you are going to keep that environment these all these things are the core of any company which is built by any uh, founder that remains same throughout uh, the history of that company now one thing over here is important to note that that as per jim collins the idea is not a that big much thing ideas come and go for example in 1970s 1976 when apple was started the idea was to make the computers the idea was to give the computers to the offices later on in 1990s in early uh, after 1995 and early 2000 the idea was to sell the computers and uh, to to the people and then later on it changed to a smartphone maybe in the future smartphone will change its shape new ideas will come new products will introduce but the core thing is that values culture and purpose remain intact now coming towards the progress part there are some some things where organizations should progress that is going to be fourth point and that is the goals your goals cannot be the same for example apple in the earlier days decided that they want to be the best computer producers okay they became best computer producer within 10 years so what's next similarly in case of microsoft so the goals continuously change companies have to change their goals with the advancement in technology with the advancement in the uh, in 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 in, in the uh, in their own company growth and the other thing is that the this that is the fifth part that the successful company all the time keep trying let's take example of amazon amazon was started as a small shop small book selling shop so many people i'm sure have seen the video of jeff uh, or picture of the jeff bezos where he is working inside a shop having a one computer and uh, with the hand he wrote amazon uh, amazon books so he keep on trying he continuously updated his work today that company is one of the biggest companies when it comes to online companies and jeff bezos the ceo is world uh, leading businessman so this is all this book talk about i'm sure you like this summary please share it with others so that they also plan and uh, visualize the companies which 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 will last through which will last uh, in the world thank you so much